Hi. How's it going, everyone? How are you doing? This is going to be a very interesting presentation. I had to double check Steam myself. I have spent over 2,000 hours in uh, Factorio. So very curious to um, obviously listen to the talk. And uh, Zippo, I leave you the stage with an uh, introduction as well as uh, your um, topic. Okay, I can share the slide. Uh, okay, so I'll get started. So welcome to my lightning talk. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and share uh, one of my recent projects. Uh, the title of the presentation is From Gain uh, to Industrial Automation, Building Factorial Agents with No Red. So a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm Zopu, uh, currently a master's student majoring in electrical engineering at National University of Singapore. And I was a software engineer intern in Supercon R&D team while doing this project. So let's kick things off uh, with a quick glimpse of the project. Uh, this is all being driven by AI and you can see the uh, plan and commands in the terminal. So the first part, uh, what makes Factorial so special? I bet many of you guys are already familiar with this game, but for people who don't know yet, it's a 2D factory building game that centers on automation. Uh, players spawn on a world containing raw resources such as water, iron ore, and coal, and must orchestrate complex production and logistic chains to uh, ultimately produce a rocket. And this game contains over 200 entity types which means it has abundant data for uh, visual for for analysis and uh, uh, further consumption. Although it shares the same sandbox feature like Microsoft, uh, it's, it is far better suited for uh, evaluating and developing AI agents in industry domain. So the core challenge here is bridging the gap between AI and uh, uh, industrial environment. In this case, uh, factorial, and that's where no red comes in. And this is a high level architecture of the project. Uh, so the factorial, the game itself, sends uh, a snapshot of the its state uh, to no red via MQTT. Then the no red receives this uh, real time state and use factorial agent series nodes, which which is uh, another open source project we built. Uh, we built for uh, no red, and. Uh, uh, then send the uh, formatted states and actions to large language models uh, such as DeepSeek and Gemini, which will generate plan and select appropriate actions for execution. And then NoRed uh, extract the finalized selected action JSON and send it back to uh, Factorio via uh, MQT and uh, remote control command. And this entire loop is the autonomous decision-making process. And the, the image you see here is a small sample factory uh, I built in Factorio. Uh, for, uh, specifically, it's a, it's a vehicle manufacturing line with, uh, with uh, power generation and the mining setup. And to organize this data, I applied a simple uh, clustering algorithm using substations at the center point of, of the white boxes I've drawn on a screen and assign a unique line ID attribute uh, using the entity ID of the substation to, the, to all the entities within each design area to make the data align perfectly with the unified namespace data structure, which is a key, which is a key requirement in in real world industry systems. And uh, uh, I packed the core logic into uh, factory agent series nodes. Uh, as you can see on the left, it, can, it, it includes uh, DeepSeek agent, Gemini agent, uh, which integrate, which directly integrate large language model into your uh, node rare flows and alongside tools for managing actions and states. And this is a no ref flow I used in this project. Uh, on the left, we have two inputs arriving from two MQTT nodes, uh, factorial response 
uh, stream delivers uh, delivers uh, execution feedback, the result of uh, previously selected actions, and uh, factorial sandbox. This topic stream provide complete real time game state of each time step, and then uh, uh, it's the data is routed to a uh, states node, uh, which is uh, which we use for essential data uh, message caching and uh, prompt defying. Uh, crucially, the action node above here, it defines strict uh, action function to schema that large language model must adhere to. And after that, uh, uh, these components are fed into uh, agent node, Gemini player, and uh, uh, Gemini player uh, as the core um, AI engine. And uh, then the Gemini output is handled by a set of downstream nodes for uh, specifically to, to function nodes here. Uh, the extract command function node is vital for passing uh, finalized selected JSON action and then send, send out to a uh, factorial command topic via MQTT out node. And uh, uh, specifically, I built a Python interface by wrapping the official factorial law API. Uh, for instance, we have a uh, get player position, move to, uh, and create entity, et cetera. Uh, and when the system's MQT subscriber receives messages from this topic, factorial commands, it will, uh, it will execute the corresponding function and this function will internally generate a law command string, uh, and then send and then send it to directly to the uh head, the the game headless server via remote control command, and this is the system where how how the system works, and let's see the complete demonstration video, and it, it is also posted on YouTube. And this platform, uh, it's it's a IoT platform, our complete build. And this platform integrates a lot of open source uh, tool like Grafana for data visualization and uh, Node for data processing. And this tree map, uh, it's for for UNS data modeling. And now we install the factory agent series nodes. And import the JSON flow. And you put the prompt. And in this project, uh, I define the three scenarios to evaluate AI's performance. This is it. And I've attached the mode and GitHub links with QR codes on this slide. Uh, welcome you guys to have a look or give it a try in your own factorial instance. And through the project, what we verify three things. Observation first, state action top layering and state planner pipeline, which are transferable engineering pattern. And we build all this not just for fun. We are exploring how to leverage AI capabilities into a traditional, traditional industry. And uh, maybe there's one day that this philosophy can be used in a real world industry. And, uh, what is and, uh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, besides, uh, during my internship, we also developed uh, other open source project. For the first one, uh, industrial AI agent benchmark, you can think of it as a, uh, uh, industrial version of overcooked game and it serves as a benchmark to evaluate uh, a how AI agents handle complex 
uh, scheduling challenges in factory setting. And then the other one is Node-RED Dev Copilot. It's a cursor-like extension for Node-RED. It allows you to chat with large language, any large language models and uh, generate the entire Node-RED flows all at once and uh, accelerate your development process. And uh, you can find these projects and uh, some other industry relevant project resources in our Discord community. And we welcome you to join us. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very, very interesting presentation. Um, there are a couple of questions uh, for you. Obviously, the factory must grow. Um, so you've mentioned this is open source and available for anyone to download and play around. What does it take maybe to deploy it? Are you just running that on your local machine? Are you pulling the data maybe into some kind of a cloud instance? Um, what does it take to get all of those tools up and running for someone who's looking to try this out? Oh, uh, it's a, uh, I already posted a mode into the factorial mode portal and you can download it and run it in your local computer. Gotcha. What did, it, what did it take to train the AI models? Is it taking the data that you are feeding it from your current game instance? Are you able to train it on other, I guess, like replays? How do you actually teach it what is good and what isn't good? Uh, I didn't really train uh, AI. Uh, I just called a uh, general API and they are, they are, uh, they are aware of some basic knowledge of the factorial, and you just need to feed all the basic uh, game state. Gotcha. It's um, on my side again, it is super interesting because as you um, play factorial, you learn how different people obviously have different approaches. So I'm uh, very curious to experiment and see how it's optimized, you know, through LLMs and obviously what kind of data it gives back. Uh, maybe also, you know, would be curious if you've seen some false positives at times and you had to maybe fine tune certain things in the flow and um, how would you correct um, maybe some of what AI assumes to be true that perhaps isn't? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's acceptable and not, and you are not able to, to prevent AI mistake. Uh, mm -hmm by just calling API. So uh, I think this system uh, needs further uh, completion and further development. But for now it works like uh, you see on the YouTube video. So uh, this is. You mentioned a, a transition, I would say to real world systems, right? And some of the projects you have done, um, are we, very close to being able to, I guess, demonstrate similar capability. What are some of the challenges? Obviously, Factoria provides a lot of the data on the state of the, you know, the game. Um, are you having similar type of context in the real world? Are you maybe lacking some of that data? Just curious on your thoughts as we work in real environments in similar solutions. Yeah, uh, our company, Supercon, is trying to uh... De deploy uh, their own reinforcement learning uh, model into some uh, factories in China. So this is uh, still, they are still exploring and uh, try to make some possible and into the real world. But I think uh, for many areas that very, uh, uh, they're very expensive uh, cost. So the, 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 the this, this thing maybe it takes a long time. Gotcha. Awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, we will have our next session in 10 minutes. So we do have a short break and I hope to see everybody there soon. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.